Love getting even. Oh, with absolutely. It. That is all of this nonsense. Let me talk about people you ought to say sorry to, uh, if there might be. One is, and, and I'm talking, one, I raised this person first. That guy in Philadelphia, you know, who they say you got fired. Uh, you remember the guy who did the stock of the analysis? Well, so. He did great. I mean, he yeah. came out, he, he did well, and now he's yeah, but he's I mean, my well, biggest champion. Okay, but well, I mean, he's the one. He, yeah, he but you got him place. fired. You can't. You hey, got to look I back. I can't at help that he's been fired. I mean, they yeah. fired oh no, come on. Fired. Did they fire him because of a call from you? I have no idea. Okay. Really, I have. But no don't idea. you have any regret Perhaps. for that? I mean, for one man may have you lost know, a job you because you leaned on his. Because he's a tough guy. He's a savvy guy. He's come out great. He's a stock analyst, and he's now my biggest champion. He's, he's saying it's the saying greatest what, comeback. In fact, to use the word brilliant, I yeah. hate to tell you so, this. What's his name? His name is Marvin Ross. Ross, that's right. He and he say. was a great critic of me, and now he's saying that this was one of the most brilliant so things. So you did him a seen. favor by getting him fired? Well, I think in the in the long run, I think he's probably doing better now. So than you he was did him a favor. favor. That's the so. indirectly. I, I wasn't looking to do him a favor, <laughs> but I think indirectly. But don't you regret that? I mean, no, I don't regret that. This guy loses jobs. No, because that's life. You can't look back. I don't yeah. like to look bad. No I mean, regrets then? I mean, there's no one that you'd say now. Regrets. If I had it to do again, would I have done things differently? Yes. What would you have done differently? Um, probably, instead of stopping with the sale of the St. Louis, where I sold and I made a lot of money, right. I probably would have sold some other things. Um, and that I would think I would have treated and, people differently. I think that, you know, some of the people that were most loyal to me are people that I didn't think would be. Some of the people that were least loyal to me are people uh, that you got I it. think I would have treated them differently. I think I would have treated different groups differently. I would have wiped the floor with the guys that weren't loyal, which I will now do, which is great. You know, I love getting even with people. But I will. I will I love getting even. Oh, absolutely. You don't believe you don't believe in the eye for the eye. You do. No. I know you well enough. I think you do. But anyway, but but it, tell me, I mean, you you're going to get even with some people. Yeah, I know. If they, given the opportunity, if given the opportunity, I will get even with some people that were disloyal to me. I mean, I had a group of people that were disloyal. But how do you I define disloyal? Uh, they didn't come to my aid. Well, I mean, what did they do? do? They turned their things. back on you? No, but they didn't do small things that would have helped. They didn't do large. Give me things. one example. Well, I had a one man who, who frankly was on the board of a company that I was selling, and he, it was a tremendous sale for me. It was a great sale. was a, would have been a very helpful sale, and it ended up going through. But one of the things is that I had this to take a shuttle. No, this was a different company. I, it doesn't matter which company, and uh, it was a great thing for me. But one of the things is I had clear. I had to clear the board. Now I only put him on that board because of the fact I thought I was doing him a favor. He got some money by being a board member, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He contributed nothing. When it came time, I had five board members, when it came time to be to, to removing the slate and getting all my people, everyone said, I'm leaving. Right. Steve Ballenbach called me Freeman. Everyone left, except this one particular person said, I don't want to leave. He told my people, I don't want to leave. Well, when I heard about it, I went nuts. And I blasted him, and all of a sudden, he left. But I consider that a great act of disloyalty. I put him on that board. Now, he did leave, I and mean, he did leave. A little like Andrew. I mean, Andrew ended up in favor of Riverside South, but yeah. For all I had done, I had never asked him for anything. This is a great job. This is a job that he should have been a favor. He had to do a poll in order to find out whether or not he was going to support yeah, But how can you get even with Andy Stein? I mean, this guy's it's not a question of getting even. I, I can certainly be disappointed in certain people, and I was very disappointed. Yeah, but you've already said an eye for an eye. I mean, he hits you, you're going to hit him back. Well, I know. I know. Yes, sir. you hit him back? Yes, sir. Hey, time will tell, I guess. Yeah, right? Are you looking for the opportunity? No, I'm not looking. I'm, I'm just really so disappointed in him. I'm disappointed in other people. And I was disappointed. I was disappointed in this one man that didn't want to get off the wood. And right. he got off. Okay, but he that's, got he got off. off so he, no, no, he got off. He got off after being hit over the head with a cannon. Okay. What was the off. cannon? The cannon was me. And he ended up... <laughs> what was the threat, though? I mean, did you blast him in the paper and that no, was enough? No, no, or did no, you no. say... The threat, was, the threat was just sort of a, just a strong threat. I mean, he would have gone through a lot of hell if he didn't get off. And then he gets off and he acts like he does me a favor. He gets off. Okay, he got off maybe out of fear. You, you owe me, Donald, because I'm getting off the board. Yeah, and, and you know, it, it's like one of the great jokes of the century. But it ended up that he got off and the deal went through. But that doesn't mean I have to love this particular guy. It doesn't mean I have to love him. I want somebody to flow from the beginning, not somebody to flow because they're afraid or because they're this or because of that. And I've had a lot of instances like that, but, but, and I think, you know, and again, I think the new book, and I don't know why I'm promoting a book that's not going to come out for three or four wow. months. I mean, I don't want to waste a lot of time, but I think that come the most we'll interesting pick. aspect, that's right, we'll do it when right. we go national. I think the most interesting aspect of that book is the loyalty uh, 
the loyalty chapters. I mean, you you nice. measure loyalty in terms of your own relationship with Roy Cohn. Do you well, feel like that Roy, you stuck by Roy Cohn? And that, I do. That's I think you I showed your stripes by doing that. Well, I don't think I showed my stripes. I think I would have said, uh, politically speaking, that somebody that you know, Andrew Stein, would have been there. And he wasn't. I would have said that other people. What? He wasn't there in terms of, for 15 years I supported Andrew Stein. Supported him. I, I never asked him for a thing. When I needed a vote on Riverside South, until the very end, when everybody else was on board, Andrew was not there. And I was, I was really surprised at that. Now, ultimately, he was there. But it shouldn't have been so difficult. Right, it was, really shouldn't have been okay, so But difficult. here comes one of the things they, they say about you, is that there ticks within you a vindictiveness about that and you're not going to forget that. And part of the Trump style is to, at some point, you're going to try to get Stein back. Well, 